Hey guys, it's me again. I've decided to make a video. It's really taking my bloody time about that. Uh, yeah, just my channel has been, you know, kind of dead in terms of like, well, my actual YouTube activity and just making videos. Um, and that's because I'm putting all of my time and effort into uh, into Ascension and um, like writing that, filming that, uh, as well as all like, the real life stuff. Like I'm volunteering at college now. I'm a uh, a volunteer teacher of sorts, which is fun. It's really fun, and um, so there's that, and there's so many other things that I just like uh, trying to keep track of and like take care of that, and like f friends and social life and all that stuff. So I'm a, I'm a busy bee, and I haven't really had the motivation to put out a video of anything. Like I've got loads of ideas for stuff that I can do. And I do want to do it, I will do it at some point, it's just find the motivation to actually make the bloody, blimmin' bloody things. Oh, this is why I need scripts. This is why I need scripts. Um, so I thought today I'd just take you on a little tour of my film sets and show you uh, what what there is to, uh, to, to, to feast your eyes on and what I work with. So, let's start off here. This, well, you're in my kitchen for starters, but this is my green screening area and also a bit of blue screen there. This is where I do all like the large uh, action set pieces, uh, fancier stuff like uh, planets and um, I don't know, other other stuff. Like the, the really fancy sort of things kind of happen with this green screen area. Um, and it's gotten very busy with a load of characters. Uh, yeah. This is the full setup for the um, for my filming board, which was made back in 2011, I think, uh, around the time I was working on More Than Meets the Eye, and um, and Uprising. So this is it in all its glory, with a green screen laid out on it, so that I can do much more cool stuff with it all. Um, yeah, so I'll just take, take you for a little tour of who's here. So over in this corner we have a shut up email. Uh, we have Wild Rider there. Uh, these are like my stunticons. Like I've, I've redone them as like a Spec Ops uh, group. Uh, so yeah, Wild Rider. That there is not breakdown. Him in there because you can see I've got two breakdowns. That chap is called Heist. I've renamed him Heist for for Ascension, and he's a partial OC. He's kind of a a motor master surrogate. Um, but yeah, he, he, he's fun. He's fun. Uh, then we have actual breakdown. Uh, drag strip. And uh, Dreadwing here. Who's not a stunticon. And um, yeah. So that's that lot. Uh, down here we have Lugnot. Lugnot. Postman. We have Lugnut uh, crashing into Perceptor and killing him. Or something, I don't know. That's not actually a scene. For some reason I've got another camera here. And uh, this is Deadlock over here, who you will probably not have seen before. Um, let me just switch this to uh, all manual focus. Eh? Oh, it's that way. Cool. So, that there is Mr. Deadlock, who, as many of you will know, is uh, Drift pre turning to the Autobots. Uh, so he's got a little story arc going on there, which is fun. Um, and he's a custom, of course, repainted from the uh, the Generations figure. So, uh, Drift Drift Deadlock is going to be a fun character. I hope you enjoy uh, what I what I do with him. Um, yeah. So, of course, at the front we ha here we have uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Optimus Prime, Mr. Mr. Prime, yes, uh, looking at hi at his watch or something. Uh, Treadshot, of course, the uh, star of the show, uh, just looking glorious. Just look at how glorious he is, wow. What a glorious person. So, that's that side. Um, then we've got some miscellaneous bits here, like Lego men, guns, uh, shrapnel. Uh, some chairs, some chair props. So, these are some chair props I made out of, uh, well, I said I made. I made them with my dad, um, made out of uh, sort of like uh, mesh, metal mesh here. Ow. 
um, and then like war gaming flying bases make sort of this bit here and then they're held down by washers metal washers so that you can't really knock them over that easily so there are three of those um, and they're pretty fun they're fun so I use those in the uh, the spaceship set space oh god it's a freaking tongue twister spaceship set there we go um, yeah, and those are the chairs. More bits and bobs here. Guns, axes, speakers, uh, thingamadoodars. And then uh, we've got Menasaur's sword down here, which, I'm, which is being used by Megatron as his own sword. Uh, it just looks good. we got Slipstream, Black Shadow, Cliff Jumper, uh, Trailbreaker, uh, Cup, Prowl, my custom Megatron, and there's Rodimus over there lying down to show you Megatron because for many people this will be the first time you've actually seen him uh, ooh, come on head stay I'm just gonna stand you up and then we can all have a nice look at you so this is my custom evil Megatron from for Ascension uh, he's a bit of a magnificent bastard isn't he so uh, he is made from a Skyhammer figure yeah, uh, with War for Cybertron Megatron's head and uh, cannon, fusion cannon there, and he can he can hold the sword. I can't really be bothered to to show it, but trust me, it does. He does hold it. Uh, of course, he turns into a helicopter, but unfortunately, because I didn't think about you know storage space, he is a, an accidental headmaster. So if I want to turn him into a helicopter, he has to lose his head. Which kind of works for the uh, for the 2016 uh, figures coming up with a headmaster gimmick and all that. So that's all that's all good. That's all fun and good. So yeah, and then there's down here. There's some custom bits. Uh, it's Prime's trailer and a ton of vehicles. I've got five uh, all in all. Uh, so en enough for a, for a decent sort of concept of an army. So that's the green screen uh, bit. Which is super fun, but the next bit's even more super funner. Through we go. Let's uh, let's uh, turn on the light. Yeah. So over here, we have the ship interior sets. And I know I said sets. There's the reason. There's the reason I said sets with a T. Yeah. Um. So this is basically where all the action on the ship happens. Um. And these wall pieces, there are three wall pieces, there's another one there, and there's a door piece. These are all modular, so I can move them around, uh, put them upside down, um, show them in like, show like different rooms, uh, different areas. Uh, it's, just, it's just really sort of convenient to have that. Uh, the door, as you might have seen in some of the, in one of my preview videos, does actually work if I can make it move. You might notice that it's all wobbling. Hold on. If I if I, if I put you there, if I put you if I put you there, you behave. So, okay, it's working now, so it does actually work, it's just got a bit stiff since I last used it, which has been several weeks since I actually filmed on this, because I'm running out of things to, uh, to film without needing the bridge set, which is going it needs to be bigger than this, this is quite small, I mean like, if I grab a figure from in here, and show you like the scale. You might remember it from, um, well you should remember it from part seven of Broken Mirror, the final bit where they uh, save Treadshot, human Treadshot. So it looks big, but not big enough for a bridge. Um, but it's still really cool. Um, it's got a little turntable, I won't move it all the way, but it can rotate 360 degrees and more, uh, so I can get more angles and things. Um, this little bit here will be the bridge console. 
it looks like looks like a dog, looks like canine, but it's covered in all like different bits and bobs, and that goes with the uh, the chairs in the other room. Um, and it looks all right, it does. Um, we've got Iron Fist and Grace and uh, a little pod there. Three three different bits of Grace. Uh, focus, you darn thing. So we got yeah, we got like alternate bodies, alternate heads, alternate hairstyles. Uh, so Grace goes through a nice little change throughout the the series. I want to make her a bit more badass and like contribute more to the uh, the whole war against the Decepticons. Um, what else? We've got like bits for Perceptor's infirmary, medical lab there. Uh, little information data pad things which can be used pretty much anywhere. Um, just sort of generic. Nice to have. Uh, another console there. Um, another wall piece. This back here, these these two bits mainly, this is my lighting rig. And I really can't be bothered to like set up on there. But this uh, translucent acrylic piece rests on top of this, of the whole set. Then the lighting rig itself rests on top of that. And then it's, uh, it connects to a power supply. Which just like regular plugs down there, um, and it turns on the LED lights, which which line it. If you can see, this red thing is a a red gel layer, which like changes how the lights look and how like yeah, it just changes the color basically. So with that red, it's meant to meant to represent um, a red alert um, alarm kind of thing. There is a blue one as well for the Decepticons for the uh, for their ship. Uh, which basically uses the same concept, just everything is blue and will have some slight aesthetic differences. And that's, that's pretty much all there is about that. There's some more uh, bits down here. There's a table, a bed, little computer, matrix of leadership. Um, and that's pretty much everything, man. So, like, um,. I'm still, this is, this was all made like months and months ago, but I'm still trying to work out how to make a couple of sets and a couple of um, uh, props and rooms, things like that. And it might take a while, it, it's kind of holding that back production and it's annoying, but I'm trying to think of solutions for that so it can speed up production. Um, the bridge in particular for the Ark and uh, the Decepticon ship is uh, really proving to be a bit difficult to uh, get my head around. But uh, in time, I will come up with a solution with my with that, my dear father, and uh, we should have something for you. Um, probably in the new year, I'd say. I really doubt that I'll have Ascension ready for, uh, I don't know, November, December. Um, but I hope that you will be pleased with the final product. Uh, I'll be doing a more sort of in-depth um, video about what's actually happening in the series in terms of like the characters and their story arcs uh, and th the themes and different things like that. This is just a little behind the scenes video because I want like I've been requested to do it uh, at least once so I thought this seems pretty easy I've got stuff here to show and it's nothing too specific either it's just showing off characters um, so yeah that's uh, this this is the uh, the the set. This is your little behind the scenes of Ascension, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope this has given you a, a nice insight into the amount of effort that's going into it, and I hope you know. I hope you appreciate that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really terrible at vlogs. Speaking of speaking of vlogs, uh, I have a second channel now. I haven't put anything up on it. Uh, it's called Joe Powell. Uh, you'll find it probably somewhere on my channel. Um, and that's where all my stuff that isn't Transformers is going to go. So if you head on over there, uh, I'll be doing like vlogs, I'll be doing, I don't know, sketches, songs, whatever comes to mind really. Um, I'm running out of battery, so I'll wrap this up quickly. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I am Crosshairs Productions, probably, and I'll see you later.